hi welcome to driving tv and i hope you are well if you are looking for a video giving you the road markings we have in the uk this is the video you want to watch so in this video i will explain to you the road markings we have the different types of road markings we have in the uk first i will explain and then i will show you on the road in practice how they look like let's start the lesson so let's look at some road markings um we have in the uk this is a stop line on a traffic light which is a thin white line and if it's red you stop behind the line and if it's green you carry on then we have a thicker white line which is a stop line on a stop sign and it means stop regardless uh, you stop behind the line until it is safe for you to carry on then we have double broken white line which is give way line and it means you must give way to uh, traffic on the major road then you have single broken white line on roundabouts you must give way on your right then you have single broken white line slightly thicker than this one and this one is on the mini roundabout which means give way on your right on a mini roundabout then you have a center line and you have a lane line center line is slightly bigger or longer than the lane line this you will find in the center line so you have a center line in the middle of the road separating for you and for the oncoming traffic and you have a lane line meaning separating the lanes if you have two or three lanes these lines are separating the lanes and as you can see these are shorter these are longer then you have hazard warning line which means slightly longer than center line and this hazard line is normally gives you a warning if there is a traffic light coming up or at the end of the road coming up or some kind of bend coming up so it gives you a warning uh, there are some kind of hazard coming up then you have hatch marking and there are two types one of them is diagonal uh, strips and the other one is chevron uh, white strips which i will explain a little later now in some cases you will find double solid white line in the middle of the road or the center of the road and if you get one of them it means you can't overtake or they can't overtake but if the lane on your side is broken it means you can overtake if it's safe to do so but they can't but if the solid is on your side it means you can't but they can if it's safe because they have broken white line then you have double yellow line meaning uh, no waiting at any time single yellow line uh, no waiting at any time uh, within the times showing on the sign nearby keep clear meaning uh, keep clear uh, this you will normally find on an entrance um, keep clear um, don't stop on the entrance these are lanes um, with the arrow telling you to go left from this lane to go straight from this lane and to go right from this lane so whichever way you're going you must choose the lane if you're going left at this lane if you're going straight at this lane and if you're going right is this lane then you have school keep clear and you will get them on uh, entrance of schools uh, you can't stop even for picking up or dropping off you must keep it clear and regards to hatch marking like i said there are two types one of them is uh, diagonal white strips you will you will usually get them in the center of the road keeping you away from the oncoming traffic uh, maybe the road is there is a bend on the road and keeping you away from the oncoming traffic uh, if it's broken boundaries it means um, you should not enter unless it is necessary and it's safe to do so but if it's solid white line the boundaries you, it means you must not enter unless it's an emergency and the other type the hatch marking is 
the chevron uh, white lines as you can see here like a v shape and normally you will get them on one way uh, street or one way road maybe a dual carriageway on a motorway and it's keeping you away from the lanes giving some space uh, for you to stay away from uh, the lanes and uh, that's the difference same here if the edge is solid stay away from it and if it's broken uh, it means uh, if it's necessary you can uh, if it's safe to do so but if it's solid uh, you must not enter unless it's a, uh, it's a, in an emergency then you have um, bus stop which means you should not stop on it you could drive on it but not stop on it bus lane you must not uh, drive on bus lane unless there is a sign saying you can then you have yellow box junction now regards to box junction if i could explain a little bit more on a box junction you cannot stop on it unless you are turning right so if it's green and you want to go straight and uh, there are already cars waiting on the other side and you have no space to go and stop there or go that means you cannot go and stop on the box you have to stop behind the line or before the box you can only go to clear the box in one go you cannot stop to go straight or left to go right you can go and stop for oncoming traffic only if you are not blocking them going their right so you can't stop here you can stop here for them so they have space to go if you stop here you'll be blocking them so you can't go and stop around here and it's clear for them to go and you can go when it's clear for you to go and you have a zigzag line on uh, pedestrian crossings and if you see one of them it means there is a pedestrian crossing coming up and it means you cannot overtake or change lane so you must stay in your lane um, until you've crossed the zigzag line so zigzag line means crossing coming up and uh, be in your lane don't change lane or don't overtake on the zigzag line at the end of this road um, as you can see we have a giveaway line which is double broken white line it's a giveaway line at the end of this road we also have a giveaway line but uh, this time we have a giveaway line with a giveaway sign road markings on the road at the end of this road coming up uh, as you can see we have a stop line which is a solid white line and uh, here we have um, white diagonal strips in the center of the road and is there to keep us away from the oncoming traffic keeping us safe as you go further now we see an arrow telling us to go straight and an arrow telling us to go right and to go right we have a box uh, to turn right so if we are turning right we should be going into the box and wait for any oncoming traffic and when it's safe we make the turn if there is somebody coming we will wait in the box until it is safe to go as we drive on this road uh, we see on our left we have white diagonal strips which means uh, we shouldn't be driving on that lane unless it is necessary and it's safe to do so as we drive along uh, we see left lane is only left and the right lane is going straight ahead which means uh, we must choose the lane where we are going so if we are going straight we must drive on the right lane to go straight ahead as we drive on we see a double yellow line on our left which means no waiting at any time unless a sign is telling you otherwise on our right we have center line and as we drive on we see this center line gets longer which means it's a hazard warning line telling us there is some kind of hazard we are approaching and here we know the hazard we are approaching is the traffic light so the hazard warning line was telling us that we are approaching a traffic light in this case 
We also know this traffic light is a pedestrian crossings because if you look on the floor, we see a zigzag line, which means no overtaking and no changing lane. And we must give way to any pedestrians on the crossing. As we drive on this road, we see an arrow on the floor telling us to drive more on the right. And the reason is because we know now there is a cycle lane on the left and this is the reason why the arrow was telling us to drive more on the right. So on our left now we have a cycle lane. Here we have a sign telling us there is a bus lane on the left. And as we drive now we know there is a bus lane which means we must not drive on the bus lane. As we drive along now we see between our lane and the bus lane there is an area where we have chevron strips which means we shouldn't be driving on it and the reason we know why is because there is a bend keeping us away from the bus lane two things i like to share number one if you want to take mock test with me and you live in southampton or maybe around southampton or maybe you could come to southampton because that's where i'm based and you want to take mock test with me do contact me by email i will leave the email on the description and obviously it's here as well if you want the email obviously it will be recorded and it will be on the channel and if you're happy with that to take the mock test do contact and i will get back to you as soon as i can also if you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test don't forget to take the advantage of our online course the course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test it has everything a learner needs i will leave a link on the description for you to have a look have a look and see and read and if you like it you could always join the course on this road uh, we have in the center we have a double solid white line which means we can't overtake and cars coming from the opposite also can't overtake but as we drive further now we have our side broken and their side solid which means we can overtake but they can't and now here we have solid and they have broken which means we can't overtake but they can if it's safe to do so and uh, here we have keep clear on the floor and if we look on our left there is an entrance on the left and this is the reason why it is keep clear and uh, if there is a long queue of traffic we shouldn't be blocking the entrance we should keep it clear and here we have road markings for school entrance um, we shouldn't be stopping even uh, dropping off or picking up and here we have a box junction which means we cannot stop on the box unless we are turning right and we are waiting for the oncoming traffic without blocking the oncoming traffic turning on their right okay that's it for this video and i hope the video helps if it does please do give a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now